In this video, we are going to be previewing one of the upcoming features you can expect to see pretty soon on Atomic Dex. But first, let's take a look back at the development progress that has taken place so far in 2020. Throughout 2020, Komodo developers have worked diligently to add new features and make improvements to both Atomic Dex Desktop and Atomic Dex Mobile to ensure the best possible user experience. As shown here, there has been an increased number of commits in Q3 as we are preparing for the stable beta release of Atomic Dex in Q4. Now it's time to preview one of the new upcoming features you can expect to see in Q4 of this year. Pretty soon you'll be able to add custom ERC20 tokens on Atomic Dex desktop. Let's check out how it works. To add a custom ERC20 token, go to the dashboard page, click the plus icon here in the top right corner of the screen. Select add a custom coin to the list. Choose ERC20. Now you need the contract address. You can either look it up on Etherscan using the link here or you can just copy and paste it if you already have it. And today I want to add WBTC, wrapped Bitcoin. So here's the contract address. I entered it in, I'll click next. Now I need to choose the asset logo. It can literally be any picture file, but in this case, I want to add the actual logo for WBTC. Open the file. Now I'll click next. And now I need to add the coin paprika ID. And this is very important because this is what displays the price of the asset that you are trying to add. So you can see from this tutorial, this is how you find the coin paprika ID. And this will change according to whatever asset you want to add. I click preview. And here I can read the config fields and the fetch data. Now I click submit and restart, which will just restart Atomic Dex. Now I need to log back into my wallet and type my password. Click log in. And if you notice on the dashboard page, I can't find wrapped Bitcoin anywhere. That's because I need to enable the asset. So to do that, I go to the plus icon here in the top right corner of the screen. And I search right here for WBTC. I select it, then I click enable. And now you see it appears right here and I'm able to see the 24 hour change in price, the seven day trend, as well as the current price. And I can click here and it takes me to the wallet page. And now I'm able to view a detailed chart of the price and I'm able to click receive here and I get an address where I can deposit my wrapped Bitcoin. I'm also able to click the swap button here. And this takes me to the DEX page where I'm able to trade wrapped Bitcoin against other listed assets on Atomic DEX, such as Bitcoin, Komodo, Ethereum. I'm also able to trade against other custom assets such as Compound and Synthetics. And that's it. Let's now briefly highlight the major Q3 updates for Atomic Dex Mobile. In Q3, a number of new features were added. These included a new sliding menu for better navigation, an address book to make it easier to send crypto from the Atomic Dex wallet, and a privacy button that allows you to hide your balance. Developers also added a notification feature for swaps, transactions, news, and available app updates so you never miss anything that's happening on Atomic Dex Mobile. There's also an enhanced candlestick chart so you can better follow the price action of various markets on the Dex tab when you're trading. And also a currency toggle 
so that you can track the value of assets in your wallet relative to fiat, BTC, or KMD. You can even read the latest official news from Komodo directly on the feed tab.